So when we look at police reform, they're, 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 it, it's, it's so important to us because historically the police department has been used to keep down uh, this San Jose, May 29th will live long and infamy for me to keep down what was to me was a, a moderate at best um, demonstration. Um, the thing was, why did they abandon City Hall? I, from the first place when I got down there, there was no one down there. And then come in with all the heavy, the heavy material and have uh, Eric, I, I believe the guy's name was, uh, the, the police officer who jumped out the van and was more into instigating the issue. And then we turn around from that and uh, um, he's not fired. He's still with the police department. Now I'm supposed to trust him to deal with the kid or my son in four or five years on a traffic stop and then they'll say he did not instigate your son, but he has a history. So we should have fired him. And then San Jose would not have be so high on the payout for um, um, wrongful police treatment of citizens as we are at $15 million we paid out um, from our police department. That's too much money. So uh, police reform is very important. So again, defund means repurpose the money into other areas of community service that'll do us much, much better work in the long haul versus uh, um, militarizing your police 